Welcome back on this Monday morning. Today is the day that we experience our first winter storm of the season. It's an early season one for the 2022-2023 season already underway but a little bit more quiet on that scale of strength. It's going to increase and conditions will deteriorate quickly throughout today. So hazardous travel conditions. We can expect wet, heavy snow and some strong winds to limit visibility, especially by this afternoon and evening. Along the shoreline, we do have a shoreline versus an inland split for impacts. That means that along Lake Superior, along that shoreline there, we will have lower snowfall amounts, stronger winds, and potentially some flooding due to some larger waves. And then for areas inland, that's where we were going to experience those high snowfall amounts, especially at Western Market County, those higher elevations and parts of Barriga County. So those snowfall amounts easily seven to nine inches of snow away from Lake Superior for areas inland in the central and the western counties. Some of the higher elevations towards the west could push about a foot between today and tomorrow. And then it's really Western Marquette County and Barriga County that will likely push 13 to 15 inches. Now there could be the potential of some isolation spots within this little stretch right there those higher elevation points that could exceed 16 inches maybe potentially one or a few locations pushing two feet of snow over the course of those 48 hours elsewhere to the south and east not a lot of snow expected winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories are in effect for a good chunk of the UP. Winter storm watches are also in place for some of our eastern and central counties highlighted there in the shade of blue. Here's your satellite and radar loop. Basically some wet heavy snow away from Lake Superior for areas in the central and the western parts of the UP. If you're right in the eastern counties, parts of central Alger County extending into Delta County, that's where we're experiencing mainly some light to steady rain showers, but anywhere extending through parts of Gwynn, US 41 tracking south through down through M35, going to experience some of this wet, heavy, dense snow, even seeing some snow along M69 through near parts of Sogola and parts of Iron Mountain. It's a little bit lighter there. Here's the setup and what's happening. We have an area of low pressure that's just to our south and southeast with a secondary cold front moving through. This setup is coupled with a mid area of low pressure in the jet stream that's going to continue to speed been just to our east and southeast today and tomorrow. It's going to bring in another impulse of energy, so we will see intensity increase yet again with some stronger winds as we head towards this afternoon and evening through tomorrow morning before it finally moves on out as we head towards Wednesday. Your impacts for today. I set a moderate to high risk for travel outages and potential tree damage. Uh, road conditions will be slushy. There is the potential of having some power outages with stronger winds gusting in excess of 40 miles an hour to near 50 miles an hour. We could also have some down trees and branches and some isolated down power lines as well. And then along Lake Superior, some lakeshore flooding is uh, potentially going to occur with some of those larger waves. Here's your hour by hour. Here's noon today as some of that rain in the eastern county then becomes more of this wet heavy snow. That wet heavy snow continues through the afternoon. Here's 530 and then increases in the central and eastern counties overnight through tomorrow morning. This is six tomorrow morning and then by tomorrow afternoon looks like we'll have another little spurt of some rain and snow mix towards the eastern counties with still that moderate to heavy wet heavy dense snow in the central counties of the UP. By Wednesday most of this will be tapering off. Now the other big impact is going to be the winds. Strong winds expected out of the north gusting 40 to 45 miles per hour throughout the day but then increasing to 50 miles an hour near Lake Superior this evening through tomorrow morning extending through the day. So if you're farther south winds will gust around 35 to near 40 miles an hour not quite as strong as compared to near Lake Superior but regardless it's going to be a windy next 24 to 48 hours. You can see the accumulation that has already occurred along Imperial Heights Road over in Barriga County. A lot of slick and slushy road surfaces. Temperatures will remain in the 30s with lower 30s towards the west today and tomorrow in the mid to near upper 30s towards the east. That'll support more of a mix in those eastern counties as compared to the west end. By the end of the week, road conditions should be a lot better.